Good morning, folks. We've got two important items to hit today. First, there was an X-Class solar flare yesterday, and while there's no need to worry about the impact, there was something familiar and telling about the producing of big blasts on a star. We'll also hit a significant biological impact story, but we're starting with the sun, and indeed it was the northern departing sunspot that fired the X-Class flare, but that wasn't the only part of the sun that was active. Filaments were jumpy across the disk, and we'll need to continue the eruption watch. Taking a closer look at the flare event here, we can see it was in fact confined to the corona, did not produce a CME, even though its post-flare umbral field arcade was tremendous and the kind that usually follows a plasma motion. It's because there was one, just inward, not outward in a CME. The flare was triggered by coronal plasma rain as the filament ahead of the sunspot sent material down into the sunspot moments before the flare. We have seen this before and it comports with the vital fact that one of the best ways to make a star go boom is to dump material down onto it. We'll be monitoring the departing and incoming regions this week as we've still got filaments and sunspots to watch despite the departure of the northern group. Folks, let's jump back in time. It was six years ago that we began our examination of the electric vortex action during cardiac arrest. Every study that looks at the sun's effect insists there's a major correlation between heart attacks and solar activity, and the exact impact expected of the sun's electromagnetic forcing is tornadic, a vortex. Well, today, we're getting another dose of that science, but this time, it's on the brain. They are discovering electromagnetic spirals in brain activity that apparently are so critically present during key cognitive processes that this is going to end up being one of the most important brain discoveries in years. Just like sunspots and high and low pressure cells in the atmosphere here on Earth, they come in pairs with opposite polarity and opposite spin, apparently acting like gateways in the brain. We've seen dozens of papers on the statistical impact of solar activity on brain function, this might be the best yet and easiest way to explain just how that can work. Speaking of those correlations, it just so happens a different team has also come out with a study proving that geomagnetic activity has a serious effect on decision making, from little choices to big. This is a major revelation, set of revelations actually, coming out today about the brain, and both point right back to an influence of the sun. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources listed below the video in the description box. Lots to take in, lots to learn. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.